Alley, Wikipedia article audio. An alley or alleyway is a narrow lane, path, or passageway, often reserved for pedestrians, which usually runs between, behind, or within buildings in the older parts of towns and cities. It is also a rear access or service road, or a path or walk in a park or garden. A covered alley or passageway, often with shops, may be called an arcade. The origin of the word alley is late Middle English, from Old French, alley walking or passage, from allergo, from Latin, ambulare to walk. Definition North America The word alley is used in two main ways. In older cities and towns in Europe, alleys are often what is left of a medieval street network, or a right-of-way or ancient footpath. Similar paths also exist in some older North American towns and cities. In some older urban development in North America lanes at the rear of houses, to allow for deliveries and garbage collection, are called alleys. Alleys and ginnels were also the product of the 1875 Public Health Act in the United Kingdom, where usually alleys run along the back of streets of terraced houses, with ginnels connecting them to the street every fifth house. Alleys may be paved, or unpaved, and a blind alley is a cul-de-sac. Modern urban developments may also provide a service road to allow for waste collection, or rear access for fire engines and parking. Because of geography, steps are the predominant form of alley in hilly cities and towns. This includes Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Minneapolis, Seattle, and San Francisco in the United States, as well as Hong Kong, Genoa, and Rome. Some alleys are roofed because they are within buildings, such as the travels of Lyon, or when they are a pedestrian passage through railway embankments in Britain. The latter follow the line of rights of way that existed before the railway was built. Arcades are another kind of covered passageway and the simplest kind are no more than alleys to which a glass roof was added later, like, for example, Howie Place, Melbourne, Australia. However, most arcades differ from alleys in that they are architectural structures built with a commercial purpose and are a form of shopping mall. All the same alleys have for long been associated with various types of businesses, especially pubs and coffee houses. Bazaars and sooks are an early form of arcade found in Asia and North Africa. Canada Some attractive historic alleys are found in older American and Canadian cities, like New York City, Philadelphia, Charleston, South Carolina, Boston, Annapolis, Newcastle, Delaware, Quebec City, St. John's, Newfoundland, and Victoria, British Columbia. Quebec City was originally built on the Riverside Bluff Cap Diamond in the 17th century, and throughout Quebec City there are strategically placed public stairways that link the bluff to the lower parts of the city. The Upper City is the site of old Quebec's most significant historical sites, including 17th and 18th century chapels, the Citadel and the City Ramparts. Quebec City Fantan Alley is an alley in Victoria, British Columbia's Chinatown. It was originally a gambling district with restaurants, shops, and opium dens. Today it is a tourist destination with many small shops including a barber shop, art gallery, Chinese cafe, and apartments. It may well be the narrowest street in Canada. At its narrowest point it is only 0.9 meters wide. Waddington Alley is another interesting alley in Victoria and the only street in that city still paved with wood blocks, an early pavement common in the downtown core. 
Other heritage features are buildings more than a century old lining the alley and a rare metal carriage curb that edges the sidewalk on the southern end. In the United States alleys exist in both older commercial and residential areas, for both service purposes and automobile access. In residential areas, particularly in those that were built before 1950, alleys provide rear access to property where a garage was located, or where waste could be collected by service vehicles. A benefit of this was the location of these activities to the rear, less public side of a dwelling. Such alleys are generally roughly paved, but some may be dirt. Beginning in the late 20th century, they were seldom included in plans for new housing developments. When Annapolis, Maryland, was established as a city at the beginning of the 18th century, the streets were established in circles. That encouraged the creation of shortcuts, which over time became paved alleys. Some ten of these survive, and the city has recently worked on making them more attractive. Victoria Several residential neighborhoods in Austin, Texas, have comprehensive alley systems. These include Hyde Park, Rosedale, and areas northwest of the Austin State Hospital. United States In the Beacon Hill district of Boston, Massachusetts, Acorn Street, a narrow cobbled lane with row houses, is one of Boston's more attractive and historic alleys. Another early settled American city, Newcastle, Delaware has a number of interesting alleys, some of which are footpaths and others narrow, sometimes cobbled, lanes open to traffic. Many of the alleys in the Back Bay and South End area are numbered. Annapolis, Maryland in the French Quarter of Charleston's historic district, Philadelphia Alley, originally named Cow Alley, is one of several picturesque alleys. In 1810 William Johnson gave it the name of Philadelphia Alley, although locals call the elegantly landscaped thoroughfare Dueler's Alley. Starting on East Bay Street, Stoll's Alley is just 17 bricks wide at its start, and named for Justinus Stahl, an 18th-century blacksmith. For 300 years, another of Charleston's narrow lanes, Lodge Alley, served a commercial purpose. Originally French Huguenot merchants built homes on it, along with warehouses to store supplies their ships. Just 10 foot wide this alley was a useful means of access to Charleston's waterways. Today it leads to East Bay Street's many restaurants. Cincinnati is a city of hills. Before the advent of the automobile a system of stairway alleys provided pedestrians important and convenient access to and from their hilltop homes. At the height of their use in the 19th century, over 30 miles of hillside steps once connected the neighborhoods of Cincinnati to each other. The first steps were installed by residents of Mount Auburn in the 1830s in order to gain easier access to Findlay Market in Over the Rhine. In recent years many steps have fallen into disrepair but there is a movement now to rehabilitate them. Austin, Texas New York City's Manhattan is unusual in that it has very few alleys, since the Commissioner's Plan of 1811 did not include rear service alleys when it created Manhattan's grid. The exclusion of alleys has been criticized as a flaw in the plan, since services such as garbage pickup cannot be provided out of sight of the public, although other commentators feel that the lack of alleys is a benefit to the quality of life of the city. Two notable alleys in the Greenwich Village neighborhood in Manhattan are McDougal Alley and Washington Mews. The latter is a blind alley or cul-de-sac. Greenwich Village also has a number of private alleys that lead to back houses, 
which can only be accessed by residents, including Grove Court, Patchen Place and Milligan Place, blind alleys. Patchen Place is notable for the writers who lived there. Schubert Alley is a 300-foot-long pedestrian alley at the heart of the Broadway Theatre District of New York City. The alley was originally created as a fire exit between the Schubert Theatre on West 45th Street and the Booth Theatre on West 44th Street, and the Astor Hotel to their east. Actors once gathered in the alley, hoping to attract the attention of the Schubert brothers and get employment in their theatrical productions. When the hotel was torn down, and replaced with one Astor Plaza, the apparent width of the alley increased, as the new building did not go all the way to the westernmost edge of the building lot. However, official, Schubert Alley consists only of the space between the two theaters and the lot line. In the Brooklyn Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, Grace Court Alley is another converted muse, as is Dennett Place in the Carroll Gardens neighborhood. The former is a cul-de-sac. The Old City and Society Hill neighborhoods of Philadelphia, the oldest parts of the city, include a number of alleys, notably Elfrith's Alley, which is called our nation's oldest residential street, dating from 1702. As of 2012, there were 32 houses on the street which were built between 1,728 and 1,836. Boston There are numerous cobblestoned residential passages in Philadelphia, many no wider than a truck, and typically flanked with brick houses. A typical house on these alleys or lanes is called a Philadelphia Trinity named because it has three rooms, one to each floor, alluding to the Christian Trinity. These alleys include Willings Alley, between S. 3rd and S. 4th Streets and Walnut and Spruce Streets. Other streets in Philadelphia which fit the general description of an alley, but are not named alley, include Cuthbert Street, Filbert Street, Phillips Street, South American Street, Sansom Walk, St. James Place, and numerous others. Charleston, South Carolina Steps, Pittsburgh's equivalent for an alley, have defined it for many visitors. Writing in 1937, war correspondent Ernie Pyle wrote of the steps of Pittsburgh. It can refer to a narrow, usually paved, pedestrian path, often between the walls of buildings in towns and cities. This type is usually short and straight, and on steep ground can consist partially or entirely of steps, it is also describes a very narrow, urban street, or lane, usually paved, which is often used by slow-moving vehicles, though more pedestrian-friendly than a regular street. There are two versions of this kind of alley, a rear access or service road, which can also sometimes act as part of a secondary vehicular network. Many Americans and Canadians think of an alley in these terms first, a narrow street between the fronts of houses or businesses. This type of alley is found in the older parts of many cities, including American cities like Philadelphia and Boston. Many are open to traffic. And then the steps. Oh Lord, the steps. I was told they actually had a department of steps. That isn't exactly true, although they do have an inspector of steps. But there are nearly 15 miles of city-owned steps, going up mountainsides. The city of Pittsburgh maintains 712 sets of city-owned steps, some of which are shown as streets on maps. Dusablin, Mariana, Walking the Steps of Cincinnati Athens, O. Ohio University Press, 1998, page, 
Sarah A. Alley's Negotiating Identity in Traditional, Urban, and New Urban Communities. M.A. Thesis, University of Massachusetts, Amherst, 2008, Long, David, Hidden City, The Secret Alleys, Courts and Yards of London Square Mile. London, The History Press, 2011, Reagan, Bob, The Steps of Pittsburgh, Portrait of a City. Pittsburgh, Pa, The Local History Company, 2004, White, Norval, Will and Sky, Elliot and Leiden, Fran, AIA Guide to New York City, New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780195383867 In hilly San Francisco, California alleys often take the form of steps and it has several hundred public stairways. Among the most famous is the stairway known as the Filbert Steps, a continuation of Filbert Street. The Filbert Street steps descend the east slope of Telegraph Hill along the line where Filbert Street would be if the hill was not so steep. The stairway is bordered by greenery, that consists both backyards, and a border garden tended to and paid for by the residents of the street, and runs down to an eastern stub of Filbert Street and the walkway through the plaza to the Embarcadero. Many houses in this residential neighborhood are accessible only from the steps. Cincinnati New York City Philadelphia Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Also in San Francisco, Belden Place is a narrow pedestrian alley, bordered by restaurants, in the financial district referred to as San Francisco's French Quarter for its historic ties to early French immigrants, and its popular contemporary French restaurants and institutions. The area was home to San Francisco's first French settlers. Approximately 3,000, sponsored by the French government, arrived near the end of the gold rush in 1851. Seattle is a city of hills, bluffs, and canyons and many stairs. There are over 600 publicly accessible Seattle stairways within the city limits. Numerous cities in the United States and Canada, such as Chicago, Seattle, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Washington, D.C., and Montreal, have started reclaiming their alleys from garbage and crime by greening the service lanes or back ways, that run behind some houses. Chicago, Illinois has about 1,900 miles of alleyways. In 2007, the Chicago Department of Transportation started converting conventional alleys which were paved with asphalt into so-called green alleys. This program, called the Green Alley Program, is supposed to enable easier water runoff, as the alleyways in Chicago are not connected directly to the sewer system. With this program, the water will be able to seep through semi-permeable concrete or asphalt in which a colony of fungi and bacteria will establish itself. The bacteria will help break up oils before the water is absorbed into the ground. The lighter color of the pavement will also reflect more light, making the area next to the alley cooler. The greening of such alleys or laneways can also involve the planting of native plants to further absorb rainwater and moderate temperature. New life has also come to other alleys within downtown commercial districts of various cities throughout the world with the opening of businesses, such as coffee houses, shops, restaurants, and bars. Another way that alleys and laneways are being revitalized is through laneway housing. A laneway house is a form of housing that has been proposed on the west coast of Canada, especially in the metro Vancouver area. These homes are typically built into pre-existing lots, 
usually in the backyard and opening onto the back lane. This form of housing already exists in Vancouver, and revised regulations now encourage new developments as part of a plan to increase urban density in pre-existing neighborhoods while retaining a single-family feel to the area. Vancouver's average laneway house is one and a half stories, with one or two bedrooms. Typical regulations require that the laneway home is built on the back half of a traditional lot in the space normally reserved for a garage. Toronto also has a tradition of laneway housing and changed regulations to encourage new development. However this was discontinued in 2006 after staff reviewed the impact on services and safety. London has numerous historical alleys, especially, but not exclusively, in its centre, this includes the city, Covent Garden, Holborn, Clerkenwell, Westminster and Bloomsbury amongst others. San Francisco an alley in London can also be called a passage, court, place, lane, and less commonly path, arcade, walk, steps, yard, terrace, and close. While both a court and close are usually defined as blind alleys, or cul-de-sacs, several in London are throughways, for example Cavendish Court a narrow passage leading from Houndsditch into Devonshire Square, and Angel Court, which links King Street and Pall Mall. Bartholomew Close is a narrow winding lane which can be called an alley by virtue of its narrowness, and because through access requires the use of passages and courts between Little Britain, and Long Lane and Aldersgate Street. In an old neighbourhood of the City of London, Exchange Alley, or Change Alley is a narrow alleyway connecting shops and coffee houses. It served as a convenient shortcut from the Royal Exchange on Cornhill to the post office on Lombard Street and remains as one of a number of alleys linking the two streets. The coffee houses of Exchange Alley, especially Jonathan's and Garraway's, became an early venue for the lively trading of shares and commodities. These activities were the progenitor of the modern London Stock Exchange. Lombard Street and Change Alley had been the open-air meeting place of London's mercantile community before Thomas Gresham founded the Royal Exchange in 1565. In 1698, John Castaing began publishing the prices of stocks and commodities in Jonathan's Coffee House, providing the first evidence of systematic exchange of securities in London. Seattle Green and Revitalized Alleys United Kingdom Change Alley was the site of some noteworthy events in England's financial history, including the South Sea Bubble from 1711 to 1720 and the Panic of 1745. In 1761 a club of 150 brokers and jobbers was formed to trade stocks. The club built its own building in nearby Sweetings Alley in 1773, dubbed the New Jonathans later renamed the Stock Exchange. West of the city there are a number of alleys just north of Trafalgar Square, including Bridges Place which is situated right next to the Coliseum Theatre and just 15 inches wide at its narrowest point, only one person can walk down it at a time. It is the narrowest alley in London and runs for 200 yards, connecting St. Martin's Lane with Bedford Berry in Covent Garden. Close by is another very narrow passage, Lazenby Court, which runs from Rose Street to Floral Street down the side of the Lamb and Flag Pub, in order to pass people must turn slightly sideways. The Lamb and Flag in Rose Street has a reputation as the oldest pub in the area, though records are not clear. The first mention of a pub on the site is 1772. 
The Lazenby Court was the scene of an attack on the famous poet and playwright John Dryden in 1679 by thugs hired by John Wilmot, 2nd Earl of Rochester, with whom he had a long-standing conflict. In the same neighborhood Cecil Court has an entirely different character than the two previous alleys and is a spacious pedestrian street with Victorian shop frontages that links Charing Cross Road with St. Martin's Lane, and it is sometimes used as a location by film companies. England One of the older thoroughfares in Covent Garden, Cecil Court dates back to the end of the 17th century. A tradesman's route at its inception, it later acquired the nickname Flicker Alley because of the concentration of early film companies in the court. The first film-related company arrived in Cecil Court in 1897, a year after the first demonstration of moving pictures in the United Kingdom and a decade before London's first purpose-built cinema opened its doors. Since the 1930s it has been known as the new booksellers row as it is home to nearly 20 antiquarian and second-hand independent bookshops. It was the temporary home of an eight-year-old Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart while he was touring Europe in 1764. For almost four months the Mozart family lodged with Barber John Cousin. According to some modern authorities, Mozart composed his first symphony while a resident of Cecil Court. North of the centre of London, Camden Passage is a pedestrian passage off Upper Street in the London borough of Islington, famous because of its many antiques shops, and an antique market on Wednesdays and Saturday mornings. It was built, as an alley, along the backs of houses on Upper Street, then Islington High Street in 1767. In Scotland and Northern Ireland the Scots terms close, wind, pent and venal are general in most towns and cities. The term close has an unvoiced s as in sad. The Scottish author Ian Rankin's novel Flesh Market Close was retitled Flesh Market Alley for the American Market. Close is the generic Scots term for alleyways, although they may be individually named closes, entries, courts and winds. A close was private property, hence gated and closed to the public. A wind is typically a narrow lane between houses, an open throughway, usually wide enough for a horse and cart. The word derives from Old Norse venda implying a turning off a main street, without implying that it is curved. In fact, most winds are straight. In many places winds link streets at different heights and thus are mostly thought of as being ways up or down hills. A pent is a passageway that passes through a building, often from a street through to a courtyard, and typically designed for vehicular rather than exclusively pedestrian access. A pent is distinct from a venal or a close, as it has rooms directly above it, whereas venals and closes are not covered over. A venal is a passageway between the gables of two buildings which can in effect be a minor street in Scotland and the northeast of England, particularly in the old centre of Durham. In Scotland, the term originated in royal burghs created in the 12th century the word deriving from the old French word venally meaning alley or lane. Unlike a tenement entry to private property, known as a close, a venal was a public way leading from a typical high street to the open ground beyond the burgage plots. The Latin form is vanilla. The travels of lion are passageways that cut through a house or, in some cases, a whole city block linking one street with another. They are distinct from most other alleys in that they are mainly enclosed within buildings and may include staircases. While they are found in other French cities including Villefranc-sur-Saône, Macon, Chambéry, 
Saint Etienne, Lohans, Chalon sur Son and Vienne, Lyon has many more, in all there are about 500. The word travel comes from the Latin transambulare, meaning to cross, and the first of them were possibly built as early as the 4th century. As the Roman Empire disintegrated, the residents of early Lyon Lugdunum, the capital of Roman Gaul were forced to move from the Fourvier Hill to the banks of the River Sone when their aqueducts began to fail. The travels grew up alongside their new homes, linking the streets that run parallel to the River Sone and going down to the river itself. For centuries they were used by people to fetch water from the river and then by craftsmen and traders to transport their goods. By the 18th century they were invaluable to what had become the city's defining industry, textiles, especially silk. Nowadays, travels are tourist attractions, and many are free and open to the public. Most travels are on private property, serving as entrances to local apartments. Venice is largely a traffic-free city and there is, in addition to the canals, a maze of around 3,000 lanes and alleys called Cali. Smaller ones are Calat or Call Easily, while larger ones are Cali Large. Their width varies from just over 50 centimeters to 5-6 meters. The narrowest is Call out of Irisco, which just 53 centimeters, Calle Strata is 65 centimeters wide and Calle Ca Zusto 68 centimeters. The main ones are also called Salazada and wider Cali, where trade proliferates, are called Riga, while blind Cali, used only by residents to reach their homes, are Ramo. Spruerhofstrasse is the world's narrowest street, found in the city of Reutlingen, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. It ranges from 31 cm at its narrowest to 50 cm at its widest. The lane was built in 1727 during the reconstruction efforts after the area was completely destroyed in the massive city-wide fire of 1726 and is officially listed in the Land Registry Office as City Street No. 77. London Southern England Lint Gas is an alley in the old town of Cologne, Germany between the two squares of altar marked and fish marked. It is a pedestrian zone and though only some 130 meters long, is nevertheless famous for its medieval history. The Lint Gas was first mentioned in the 12th century as in Lintgut scene which may be derived from basket makers who wove fish baskets out of linden tree barks. These craftsmen were called Lindsleaser, meaning linden splitter. During the Middle Ages, the area was also known as Plata Subri or Plata Subaris, meaning street of Quercus Suber, the cork oak tree. Lintgas 8 to 14 used to be homes of medieval knights as still can be seen by signs like Zoom Hunan, Zoom Ritter, or Zoom Gur. During the 19th century the Lintgas was called Sting Kling Kass, a because of its poor air quality. Grand is Swedish for an alley and there are numerous grander, or alleys in Gamla Stan, the old town, of Stockholm, Sweden. The town dates back to the 13th century, with medieval alleyways, cobbled streets, and historic buildings. North German architecture has had a strong influence in the old town's buildings. Some of Stockholm's alleys are very narrow pedestrian footpaths, while others are very narrow, cobbled streets, or lanes open to slow-moving traffic. Martin Trotzig's Grand runs from Vasterlagaten and Jarn Torget up to Prastgaten and Tiska Stall Plan, and part of it consists of 36 steps. At its narrowest the alley is a mere 90 cm wide, making it the narrowest street in Stockholm. The alley is named after the merchant and burger Martin Trotzig, who, 
born in Wittenberg, emigrated to Stockholm in 1581, and bought properties in the alley in 1597 and 1599, also opening a shop there. According to sources from the late 16th century, he was dealing in first iron and later copper, by 1595 had sworn his burger oath, and was later to become one of the richest merchants in Stockholm. West of England Possibly referred to as Trangsund before Martin Trotzig gave his name to the alley, it is mentioned in 1544 as Trong Trap Grendon. In 1608 it is referred to Trap Grendon, but a map dated 1733 calls it Trotz Grand. Closed off in the mid-19th century, not to be reopened until 1945, its present name was officially sanctioned by the city in 1949. Midlands and East Anglia Northern England Scotland and Northern Ireland Other English language terms Words used in other countries Europe France Lions Travels Italy Venice Germany Sweden Asia China The list of streets and squares in Gamla Stan provides links to many pages that describe other alleys in the oldest part of Stockholm, e.g. Karl Mattergrand, Skepar Karls Grand, Skepar Olaf's Grand, and Helga Likamen's Grand. Hutongs are a type of narrow streets or alleys commonly associated with northern Chinese cities, most prominently Beijing. In Beijing, hutongs are alleys formed by lines of Saihewan, traditional courtyard residences. Many neighborhoods were formed by joining one Saihewan to another to form a hutong, and then joining one hutong to another. The word hutong is also used to refer to such neighborhoods. During China's dynastic period, emperors planned the city of Beijing and arranged the residential areas according to the social classes of the Zhou dynasty. The term Hutong appeared first during the Yuan dynasty, and is a term of Mongolian origin meaning town. At the turn of the 20th century, the Qing court was disintegrating as China's dynastic era came to an end. The traditional arrangement of hutongs was also affected. Many new hutongs, built haphazardly and with no apparent plan, began to appear on the outskirts of the old city, while the old ones lost their former neat appearance. Following the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949, many of the old hutongs of Beijing disappeared replaced by wide boulevards and high-rises. Many residents left the lanes where their families lived for generations for apartment buildings with modern amenities. In Zikin district, for example, nearly 200 hutongs out of the 820 it held in 1949 have disappeared. However, many of Beijing's ancient hutongs still stand and a number of them have been designated protected areas. Many hutongs, some several hundred years old, in the vicinity of the Bell Tower and Drum Tower and Shisha Ha Lake are preserved amongst recreated contemporary two- and three-story versions. Hutongs represent an important cultural element of the city of Beijing and the hutongs are residential neighborhoods which still form the heart of old Beijing. While most Beijing hutongs are straight, Judeoan hutong turns 19 times. At its narrowest section, Qianqi hutong near Qianmen is only 40 cm wide. The Shanghai Longtang is loosely equivalent to the hutong of Beijing. A Longtang is a laneway in Shanghai and, by extension, 
a community centered on a laneway or several interconnected laneways. On its own long is a Chinese term for alley or lane, which is often left untranslated in Chinese addresses, but may also be translated as lane, and tang is a parlor or hallway. It is sometimes called Lai Long, the latter name incorporates the Li suffix often used in the name of residential developments in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. As with the term Hutong, the Shanghai Long Dang can either refers to the lanes that the houses face onto, or a group of houses connected by the lane. Shinjuku Golden Gai is a small area of Shinjuku, Tokyo. Japan, famous both as an area of architectural interest and for its nightlife. It is composed of a network of six narrow alleys, connected by even narrower passageways which are just about wide enough for a single person to pass through. Over 200 tiny shanty-style bars, clubs and eateries are squeezed into this area. Its architectural importance is that it provides a view into the relatively recent past of Tokyo, when large parts of the city resembled present-day Golden Guy, particularly in terms of the extremely narrow lanes and the tiny two-story buildings. Nowadays, most of the surrounding area has been redeveloped. Typically, the buildings are just a few feet wide and are built so close to the ones next door that they nearly touch. Most are two-story, having a small bar at street level and either another bar or a tiny flat upstairs, reached by a steep set of stairs. None of the bars are very large, some are so small that they can only fit five or so customers at one time. The buildings are generally ramshackle, and the alleys are dimly lit, giving the area a very scruffy and run-down appearance. However, Golden Guy is not a cheap place to drink, and the clientele that it attracts is generally well off. Golden Guy is well known as a meeting place for musicians, artists, directors, writers, academics, and actors, including many celebrities. Many of the bars only welcome regular customers, who initially should be introduced by an existing patron, although many others welcome non-regulars, some even making efforts to attract overseas tourists by displaying signs and price lists in English. Golden Guy was known for prostitution before 1958, when prostitution became illegal. Since then it has developed as a drinking area, and at least some of the bars can trace their origins back to the 1960s. A Medina Quarter is a distinct city section found in many North African cities. The Medina is typically walled, contains many narrow and maze-like streets. The word Medina itself simply means city or town in modern Arabic. Because of the very narrow streets, Medinas are generally free from car traffic, and in some cases even motorcycle and bicycle traffic. The streets can be less than a meter wide. This makes them unique among highly populated urban centers. The Medina of FES, Morocco, or FES El Bali, is considered one of the largest car-free urban areas in the world. Al Yasmin Ali in Al Jadadi, Aleppo, Syria. Arco di Via Tirolo, Rodi Garganico, Apulia, Italy. Center Place in Melbourne. Medina Tripoli, Libya. Schnur Neighborhood in Bremen, Germany. Ali in Chef Shehouin, Morocco. Notes. Bibliography Japan North Africa Other meanings of the word Gallery